Hi, and welcome everybody. My name's Ursula, and I'm today joined by Julia Blas, our wonderful instructor and guide, and we are celebrating Serene. She's the 11th certified practitioner. So welcome everybody, and congratulations, Serene. Well done, Serene. Thank you. So happy to interview you today. Can't wait to hear your story and uh, introduce you to the audience. So we um, are really excited because Julia just launched this practitioner's course for people who would, be, who would like to answer the collective need, this call for wanting to understand our galactic heritage. You know, using your natal chart and your information, so there's the astrology, but Julia's program brings in the galactic aspects. So we can see where has our soul been? Where did we originate? Um, what was our most recent lifetime and how does how does this new galactic consciousness fit into the languaging that comes from the free online calculator that Julia and Hector have delivered to all of us through what's called galacticastrochart.com. And today we are here now holding space for Serene's incredible graduation and there's more to come. Julia, your class just keeps growing and growing, and it's it's it just feels like divine timing. I mean, from February to now, we're honoring our 11th. Do you happen to have a, a comment about how are you feeling about this as you see we're going global with all these languages? Every day I have to pinch myself. I just cannot believe how many blessings this is bringing to so many people's lives, even Today, I received email from certified practitioner saying that she received her money back for investing into the course within a few days of being listed as certified. And so far, it's been the story with every single one of them. And uh, that's just one little example, but just so many thank you messages and emails of unbelievable stories that are happening. So I'm so glad that I conquered my own limiting beliefs and my self-doubts and whatever I was, you know, having to transmute on my own personal journey with this and I'm so glad it's out in the world and just so many blessings so much magic so yeah thank you so much wow so if I could just paraphrase a little bit Julie when you mentioned a, a practitioner receiving support or monetary support back so you make an investment into your class at the practitioner's course and what I think I'm hearing you say is in, in just a few days, the need, answering the need and giving reports or sessions, you can actually not only help others, but actually thrive a small business from your home. Is, is, that, is that what I think I heard you say? Absolutely. In fact, we had one other story where they were in a very desperate financial situation, but took a leap of faith and it turned completely completely around where now they feel secure for a year ahead financially so I just never could have ever dreamed of something like this be the outcome of me sharing my passion what I'm excited about so yeah that's amazing mm -hmm. and so Serene we gotta say we, we understand you're calling in from Spain you're located in Spain near Barcelona and you're our first Spanish speaking practitioner. Yay. So now we have English, Polish, German, Dutch, French. Am I missing anything? And Spanish now. Mm -hmm. and, and English, of course. Yeah. So this is exciting. And I'm so excited to hear your story, Serene, because when I went to visit your blog spot, well, first of all, I should shout out if you visit Julia's calculator on galacticastrochart.com. There's a, at the bar, there's a practitioner's menu that you can scroll down and Serene is featured at the top. And then you can find her email, how to get in touch with her and her incredible blog spot. So back to Serene, can you share with us a little bit about your journey, how you came to Julia and this whole galactic astrology? Well, a few months ago, I was listening to an interview that Elena Danan uh, interviewed uh, Julia in YouTube. And I was really interested. So I became right away a follower of Julia. And I began to, to watch her videos. And I said, yes, 
this is one thing that I really want. It's not something uh, weird or far away from me, because since I was a little child, for me, the universe, the life beyond uh, the physical life was the, the real one. And for me, the difficult was to understand why I was here in a physical form. Although I became a physicist, an astronomer in particular, soon after I got my PhD degree, I began again as a healer, one more time <laughs> in my lifetimes here on Earth and other, other places. And so for me, the normal thing is that the soul comes from, or may come, may come from far away from other planets, other galaxies, other constellations, but also from other realms that are not seen by our eyes. So when I watch the videos of Julia, I say, yes, it's a perfect complement of my own task, of my own purpose, because it fits perfectly of the kind of healing I offer to the people. Because sometimes uh, when I channel the uh, healing, we focus on the person problem. So sometimes, not always, but sometimes we are so focused on the, the underlying causes of the problem that I, I can get the great picture of the person. Sometimes, yes, I, I, I could do that. But other times it's difficult or maybe only healing after healing. Finally, I get the, the whole picture, picture. So when I watch the Julia's YouTube videos, I say yes, perfectly, because it, it gives me a precious tool to add what I am really doing. So this was the reason <laughs> I chose it. And at the same time, I, I felt that for, from time to time, I use astrology charts. But I said, no, now I want to focus more in the astrology of the people and expand more the possibilities I offer to them. So it's one. For me, it's, it's perfect. It fits perfectly. <laughs> That's amazing. I can't believe that you have PhD in astronomy. Wow. I, I love that. I'm so honored that you felt this course is valuable. And can I ask you, since you started applying what you learned in the course, in working with your clients, how have things changed or how has it been for you in terms of expanding and really seeing the bigger picture even before they come to you? Can you tell a little bit about that? Yeah, of course. Well, for me, it has been a way to expand myself or better said, to recover some memories, some abilities that I had when I was a little child. Sometimes they were memories uh, when I was uh, a little child, two, three year, years old, maybe four, five, two. I remember a night traveling to other planets, uh, sometimes to the inner earth, to welcome and say hello, some uh, sisters, brothers, friends. So I remember it very well, and even right now. And even I remember many, how can I say, feeling the existence of other realities. So when I, I began to apply the galactic astrology to my clients, it was like recovering some memories, some feelings, some experiences that there was already uh, within my soul. It was nice. <laughs> wow. 
Speaking of the soul, when I visited your blog spot called The Science of Love, this is where I feel like, um, Serene, you've brought in the masculine energy, let's say, of the science, you know, physicist, astronomy, with this beautiful inner child. You're remembering your the feminine joy. And so the science of love, it's like putting together this beautiful balancing of male, female, like, like it, it feels like you're bringing in both. So you hold this vessel because you write, our souls are precious fractals of the divine source. And, and I know I get those chills. And so each one of our DNAs has stored memory. But if, if I could just ask you, you know, this idea of working with the DNA and you're mentioning about how in sessions you might be able to help someone, a client, with connecting to your true color and your true sound. Uh, for me, it's very easy to connect with soul of a person, to be within it, to understand it, to help it, to, to heal the wounds, the trauma, the blockage. But also for me, it's very easy to connect with the DNA of the person, not only the physical one, the, the two strands of the DNA. No, no, no. I can connect with more strands of the DNA of the person, the multidimensional strands, and help he, she to unblock, to, to awake some of the power, the memories, the, the light that is stored within it. <laughs> Amazing. I totally know what you mean. It's so beautiful that it comes to you naturally and that you're working with that. And I'm just so excited that we have another very unique practitioner bringing in very unique flavor to the table mm -hmm. to be able to assist people with the ascension and awakening. So thank you so much for sharing this with us. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. The first time I I channel uh, a healing for a person, for example, the first time, normally I don't access to his or her DNA. It's uh, after a while that when I, well, when I feel, when I really feel that it's the right time for the person is then when I access to it, but not the first time right away. <laughs> Yes, thank you for clarifying. Yeah, that's mm. that's perfect. So in our class, Serene, you know, Julia offers us so many charts that we use our pendulum intu and intuition to help guide the client or the person we're working with. But tell me a little more about how to find someone's true sound. Do you actually, are you able to vocalize in a session what you hear for a true sound no. of a soul? Normally, no. Sound for me is more a feeling, a perception that I can feel. I know that it is. I know that it is resonating, but uh, I know vocalize the sound of the soul. I encourage the person to vocalize it, but not myself. It's so cute. You know, I'm a mother of many children and there was this little penguin story um a cartoon that the penguins had to like find their own sound to be able to vocalize and then they find a mate or a matching sound to then lay eggs so this idea of you working with a client to help them discover their own true sound because everything as we know is energy and vibration so a session with you i would imagine it's it's very high level. I mean, I'm feeling the chills. And and yet with Julia's online calculator, you can actually also speak to the person's mind, like, see, here's your soul journey. You can also tap into their heart. So back to you, when you first saw your first astrology chart using the galactic, was there a particular fixed star or constellation that really called out and you said, oh yes, home, or I recognize this? Was there anything no. particular? No. No. Well, uh, my particular story is that 
a few years ago, around six years ago, more or less, maybe a little less, I transcended my natal chart. It was a wonderful feeling because I felt that all learnings of all the signs were uh, gathered together and placed into my heart. Oh, well, they already were placed into my heart. So it was only the, the perception. Until then, as always, I've been carrying on different death and rebirth processes, as always, along my life. And finally, one day I felt, yes, now you are reversing one more time. And this will last for a while. And that, that date, I wrote it down and I constructed the, my new natal chart. And, but I know at the same time that is not the, the last one. It only represents a loop within my path of, of life to expand more my heart, my knowledge about some different things to work with, especially with clients. And then, well, it began the, uh, it will begin the time that another chart will show itself, but I feel myself as part of all galaxy, of the all galaxy, even beyond that. For me, the universe is my home, so there's no particular star or, star or constellation, no. I am so happy you say this because many people are at that point where they are transcending their natal astrological chart. So I'm so glad we can bring this up, that it is possible to feel this way about your astrology, where it feels like, nah, I'm done with this. Uh, there is something much bigger and greater. And you are mm -hmm. also at the point where you drop the need to connect to certain star system, to continue expanding, exploring. Even that feels already beyond your journey because you you know i don't know you're a very old ancient soul and you are now more about whole complete unity with all that is everything is equally important so i'm so happy to highlight this and uh share it with all our students and everyone who gets excited about galactic astrology and it doesn't mean that if you're not there yet that you're not good enough uh, not at all. Have so much fun with where you are at. Keep exploring. It's an amazing experience, but just know you're getting to a point where you will experience this amazing sense of wholeness, connection to all that is, and it's all good. All of it is perfect. So, yes, amazing. Yes. Thank mm -hmm. you. Wow. Well, I'm going to echo what Julia just shared and call in something you wrote, Serene. When you work with ses in sessions, um, the guidance is really to help support the client to become, you know, moving and guiding towards becoming whole and one with your higher self. So you're modeling and I can feel the energy of having on your evolutionary journey moved into another state, perhaps multi-galactic, multi-universe. So it's good to remind those who are listening that it's evolutionary. We're where we are and you want to expand more is the question. And if you do, Serene sounds like she can offer sessions in English and Spanish. So if you feel comfortable and align with this idea of having a very high level multi-galactic being to come, I can help guide you. But just honoring, as Julia, you said, you're where you are. And just be where you are. But if you want a little, the next step, there's some guidance. How does that feel, Serene? Yes, of course. But the first step is being in the here and now, in the eternal present that we are. And in this eternal present, we can embrace all what we are. 
Amazing. I keep hearing the word PhD level, PhD <laughs> level. So, you know, some of us, we start in kindergarten or preschool. Okay. So I like being in and, and basically infusing wherever I am, whatever it's, it's, it's not even linear, right? It's quantum because in our true essence, going back to that idea of the perfect fractal of source, we are all that is, it's just remembering and reawakening. And I think your point about the DNA activations, I'm just listening to you. I already feel like, you know, I get these little jolts. So it's perfect that you're coming in on the 11th. Here's a one and here's a one. The 11th um, practitioner to be certified. It's almost like this beautiful elevator shaft of light is coming in to really just say, okay, we're raising the ante, here we are. And if you want to join, we can have services that are multi-level, multilingual, and multi-galactic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so as we wrap up, you know, we have a wonderful and growing global class, Serene. And for anyone listening who may be interested in the class but hasn't signed up, what would you say to someone who's maybe listened to the Elena Danon conversation with Julia? I found Julia with the Aaron Abke conversation. So if, if, you, if you could speak to someone who might be listening, who's not yet in the class, we'll start there. Mm -hmm. What would you say? Well, if you want to embrace yourself, if you want to not only know, but feel what you really are, then this class, this course is, is for you because it is a really wonderful way to discover what we really are. Oh, so beautifully said. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it, at least for me, is is a really beautiful way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I'm going to ask the second question. And what message would you give to our classmates who maybe have just entered? There's so much information. You just go, wow, will I ever get to completion? Not that you, everyone has to like, you know, get to the finish line, but this idea of progress or feeling overwhelmed. What would you say to someone in the class already who might be feeling like, what did I get myself into? <laughs> well, take it easy is the first step. And also it's important try not to understand only with the mind, but feeling with the heart. Because it's the, it's the way that then the, the two hemispheres work together or can work together and then the the teachings the learnings come in faster and easier much easier so take it easy don't worry step by step and expand meanwhile your heart your self-esteem because in this way it must, it must be much easier I'm so glad you've mentioned that. That's so such a wonderful highlight. And you you managed to fly through the course within just over a month. So if <laughs> yeah. that's what you applied, this is how you this is how you do it. So listen to the PhD master level uh, student practitioner. So amazing. Well, uh, Congratulations. For me, most of the concepts, the subjects were already known. So it was easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm so glad. Well, congratulations, Siri, super well done. I can't wait to send people your way and hear the stories of, of the blessings and expansion and activation that will occur, not just for your clients, but I'm sure for you as well, because it's always that way we grow and expand together. So, yes. so glad you're part of the team now. Really well done. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, thank you. The science of love incarnate, serene. Thank you, this is remarkable. So again, I call out to English or Spanish sessions to um, learn more about serene. You can visit the-science-of-love.com.
blogspot.com. But an easier way is to go to Julia's calculator and look under practitioners and you'll see beautiful Serene. So thank you, thank you, ladies. I feel so uplifted already. I mean, energetically, I have so many goosebumps. Thank you, Serene and master number 11. <laughs> You're welcome. I know. I love everyone. Take care. Take care. Bye. Take care. Take care. Goodbye.